<laughs> this is spice up fate. Spice it up. Spice it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my beautiful client, Miss Gorgeous Fate. Okay, she wants a um, lace frontal sew in today with some curly hair. She has a frontal and she got three bundles of hair. All right. Um, she bought her own hair in, so I don't know where she got it from. But if she's nice <laughs> enough and she showed me where, maybe I can find the links and put it there for you guys. But I didn't get this hair. She bought her own hair, so hopefully she can show me where she got it from. All right? So we're going to get started with this sewing. All right, you guys, so starting off with our braiding part on, as you can see, her hair is very thick and coarse, and it's all natural. So we're going to try to get rid of all this thick hair, okay? Starting off with my first braid, you guys know. Um, if you are on my channel, then you already know this, okay? My first braid, when I do a sewing, always goes around my nip area. This just helps if my clients... Once to do a ponytail or a little updo, they can always be able to achieve that because I always sew a track on that braid, all right? So my first braid always um, starts from the ears and I part it, making like a U-shape form and I go across the nip area. Okay, so this is going to be a lace frontal sew-in. So for the rest of the braids, all I do is just braid them straight back. So once I add my last braids, I just get rid of my single tail that I have. I usually tuck it in between the other braids just to get rid of that tail. And this is how my back looks, okay? I have my one single braid going across my neck and then the rest of the braids is just going all back, okay? For my lace frontal sew-in, usually most of the time this is how... I do my braiding pattern okay now we are ready to move on to the next step all right the next step is the ball cap method the ball cap method just help protect her edges from the lace it also helps as a scalp um, underneath the lace okay so using my got to be glue spray I spray all around her front line and I use the got to be gel and I get rid of her edges okay I slick them back making sure I don't have any of her edges in the way oh, all right so once I have all of her edges pulled back and slick back it's time to put her stockings on usually I try to use a stocking that's very close so my client's skin tone. So this is the brown stockings that I'm using for her today. Okay, once I put it on her head, I usually position it on her hair. And then I go ahead and I um, put a hole to the ear tab just side of the ear so that the stocking lays nicely on the side of her ear. Once after that, using the Gotta Be glue spray, I just use my fingers and I spray 
the got to be spread on her hairline and rub it in with my fingers just to make sure that the cap is nice and flat after spraying the cap down i usually go in the middle of the cap and use my thread and needle and sew the cap down because this is going to be a sewing and I'm going to cut off all the extra cap that I don't need and I'm also going to add a uh, um, weaving net to the back of her head for her bundles so I need the stockings to stay in place on the top so using my thread and needle I'm going to sew from one side of her ear and make my way to the other side of her ears All right, so once I sew the middle part down, you guys can see now I have the cap is um, secure on her head. I'm just taking my blow dryer now and blow drying the front of it just to make sure that the got to be spray um, dries and the got to be glue that I lay her edges with um, dry also. So I'm um, using my blow dryer just to make sure that it's dry completely. All right, so once the stocking is completely dry, it's time to cut off the extra stockings that I don't need. Alright, so once I cut off all the extra stockings that I don't need in the back, I take my weaving net or my weaving net cap. This one is a weaving net cap. I'm just going to put it in the back of the hair. This just helps the bundles have something to be sewn onto. It also helps your sewing last longer when you add a weaving net or a weaving net cap. Now I'm just taking my pair of scissors and I'm going around the entire weaving cap just to make sure that it's secure and it's in place and then i'm just going to take my pair of scissors and cut off the extra net that i don't need all right so our lace frontal base is ready it's time for us to start our sewing okay i already went in here and tent my lace and i also tinted the stocking a little bit just to make sure that it matches her skin perfectly now I'm measuring the elastic band. Now the elastic band is what's going to hold the frontal in place because we are not using glue for this sewing. This is just going to be a sewing. We are not using glue. But I need the frontal to stay in place. So I have to um, position the frontal with the elastic band. So to do that, I usually measure the elastic band. Once I have my placement right, I cut it. Then I measure the lace frontal on the client's hair, make sure that I have exactly where I need the elastic band to be at once I sew the elastic band on. And after measuring and sewing the elastic band on the frontal, this is how it looks. Now the elastic band is in place, the frontal is ready to be put on, okay? I usually ask my clients to help me hold the frontal. I pour it on and I position it, making sure that it's covering my ball cap, that the baby hair is um, over the ball cap that is nicely situated on the hairline and is perfect around the ears before I start my sewing. All right, once I have the frontal position, I usually feel on a braid once I have the braid that I want the thread needle to be sewn on, I take my rat tail comb and I make a part right in the middle. Usually it's slightly off the middle part. And I part it just to give me a roll. And then I take my needle and thread and I start to sew from the back going towards the front. This is what will keep the lace frontal in place as a sew-in that it doesn't shift around or it doesn't move around and as I do this I usually ask my client 
to help me keep the lace frontal in place as I do the sewing. Now I'm just going to do the middle part, then I'm going to move on to the sides and I'm going to do the both ear parts. Moving on to the next side, just to make sure that my ear tabs are secure. I'm using my thread needle again and I'm sewing the ear tab down, making sure that it's nice and flat. Moving on to the side part, okay? I just went ahead and part the row again and I took my thread and needle, slowing this part down just so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I am using my thread and needle and I'm sewing from the back going towards the front and I'm sewing on a braid. This what helps makes your lace frontal sew and stay in place without the glue and it helps it um, stay secure and doesn't shift around with the elastic band attached, okay? All right, so once I have my frontal sewn down nicely, it's time to secure the back of the frontal. And this is how the back looks. Okay, now using my thread and needle, I'm gonna start from the middle and I'm gonna work my way from one side of her head and then I'm gonna come back up and start again from the middle and work my way to the left side of her head, okay? Alright, so once I have my frontal sewn down in the back as well, now the frontal is completely secure and in place. This is how it looks, alright? Alright, so once I have my frontal sewn down, I usually go ahead and prep my frontal, making it ready for styling. The first thing I do is take off the extra lace in the front and I usually use my eyebrow razor to cut off the extra lace in the front part and then i use my scissors and i cut around the ear tabs just to make sure that the frontal is nicely around the ears um, and is secure around the ear part so you make amends with the demons you've been through i can't regret After cutting the extra lace off the frontal, next is making baby hair. She did want some baby hair. So I did part off the thin layer of baby hair that the frontal came with. I sectioned it off and then I took my um, eyebrow razor shaving comb and I cut off the baby hair a little bit um, just so that the baby hair looked more realistic in the front. Alright, now that I have the baby hair all cut in the 
front i'm going to lay the baby hair down with my nairobi foamy wrap i'm just going to place it all over the hairline and then i'm going to make the baby hair slick them down and then i'm just going to take my Cenex scripts and wrap it and set her under the dryer now as i lay the baby hair down on this frontal you guys can see that parts of the frontal is lifting up a little bit especially around the ear part that tells you that i have absolutely no glue on this frontal the only thing that's holding it in place is the sewing in the elastic band that helps to lace the lace extremely flat in the front now i tell all my clients that do not want um glue on their um lace frontal i tell them to help the frontal stay in place you have to lay your baby hairs down every night and you have to tie it up with a scarf to keep it in place that it does not move um and it helps the um lace stays flat in the front that you do not need the glue Once I have the baby hair slicked down with the Cenex, I put her on in the dryer for about 5 to 10 minutes to let her dry. Alright, so once I take her off the dryer, it's time to put the rest of the hair on, okay? I'm starting off with the back. Um, she do have three bundles of hair, so I'm going to try to squeeze as much hair in as possible. Um, I do start off sewing the tracks on the elastic band on the sides because I need the elastic bands to be secure on the sides before I cut them. So I usually sew the bundles on the elastic band. I sew the entire hair before I cut off the elastic band in the back. They just make sure that the elastic band is secure before I cut it that the frontal doesn't come, become loose. Now applying the bundles, I'm just going from one side of her hair to the other side and I'm not cutting her wefts. I'm leaving her weft as it is. I'm just doing the flip over method and moving my way to the next side. I'm going to keep sewing the bundles on till I get to the top of her head. Now for the top of her hair, I have this small section left and I do have about half of the third bundle left. So I'm just going to sew this and I'm going to go straight across and move my way up till I get to the frontal. Alright, so now we at the top, the very last end of the sew in. Okay, I'm going to take um, a single weft, a single track, and this is the only space that I have. I'm going to sew it as close as possible to the closure, and this will complete my sew in.
All right, you guys, so my sew-in is finally complete. My lace frontal sew-in is com finally complete. You guys can see how perfect my tracks looks, okay? My closing is perfect, okay? I love, love the way my sewing looks. This is how I do most of my sew-ins in my hair salon, okay? Love my end results. Now, we're just going to finish up this hairstyle. I'm going to finish up with styling it. All right, you guys, so I'm going to take off the Cenex wrap now, and this is the baby hair with the Cenex wrap all. This is how it looks slicked down. It looks like I have glue on there, but I do not have any glue. Um, it's just laying down on her hairline. Really nice now, but I'm going to comb through the baby hair just to make it look nice and relaxed and natural looking, okay? She do have in three bundles of this curl pattern, which is a water wave curl pattern. Um, it's a beautiful hair. The curls are gorgeous, all right? She have in 118 and 216 with a 16 frontal. All right, now I'm just going to finish up the styling. I'm taking a little bit of water and I'm going to spray it through the hair just to define the curls on the frontal. Then I'm going to go in with my Kintu um, curling condition and I'm just going to add it to the curls just to make sure that the curls is nice and beautiful and shiny and just gorgeous, okay? Then I'm going to take my small tooth comb and comb through the baby hair to finish up the style. All right, now that I have the curls all defined, okay, I'm going to take my small brush and I'm going to comb through the baby hair just to make the baby hair look more natural in the front. Um, and you can see how nice it's laying down even after I brush it out, okay. This will make the frontal looks really nice and make the frontal looks really, really natural. In the front, you don't have the baby hair glued down to your fall hair, okay? That doesn't look cute. But yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. This is my finished look, you guys. This so turned out to be absolutely stunning. I love the curl part on her. She looks beautiful. The hair curls very beautiful with water and some condition added. It just looks gorgeous, gorgeous on her. You crawl around, searching for higher ground. Can't see in front of me. And like I said, this is a glueless sew-in, frontal install. You can see me pour the lace up and it falls right back down. You can see me scratch the lace and it snaps right back. Scratch, pull, and it goes right back down. This is a glueless sew-in frontal install, okay? You guys, this turned out very beautiful. It looks so natural on her. It looks gorgeous on her, all right? All she have to do to keep this down is to tie it up at night when she goes to sleep, all right? That is pretty much it for this um, glueless full sewing weave. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.
That's my finished look. Sad and I'm done. It's cute. Life is nice. I love it. Love it. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do.